Alright folks, sun's in my eyes, sun's in the camera, I can't see a thing, at least the sun's out, eh? Um, so, what are we up to? Um, one of you, uh, one of you put me on to um, using citric acid to uh, clean, uh, clean corrosion off steel, Julia, uh, thank you. Uh, I know I've been messing around with it for a little while, um, tried it cold, tried it hot, uh, that was what was recommended. And uh, well, it works so bloody lovely. Um, I've got to do some anyway, uh, so I figured I'd uh, just just show you what happens. <laughs> okay. So this is a, a gas bottle. I you started using this to clean uh, engine parts with, um, but you know I've been using it for, for cleaning rust off iron parts now as well. Um, right now we've got uh, we've got some water in there warming up. Um, does seem to give it a bit of a head start. I'm not going to keep this burner going the whole time. I just want to get the water hot um, just once. That seems to work okay, and then it can cool down. We're going to leave uh, leave these parts in here for the next uh, sort of 12 hours, I suppose. Might end up being longer. I might end up pulling them out tomorrow morning, but um, you know, uh, it's not a quick process. Is basically, what I'm saying. Um, you do need to leave a little bit of time to do this. So most of the bits I've got aren't too bad. Uh, the reason I'm doing this now anyway is for this Lister muffler, exhaust pipe, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, corrosion's not too bad, but I probably don't want to put paint straight on top of that. Um, uh, we've got some spanners. Uh, they've been sitting in, sorry about the noise, fucking trains. There goes one, and they're disc carrying with a bloody fast track in the field at the minute. He's dragging that disc arrow about 30 miles an hour. Magnificent machine, them fast tracks are, aren't they? One of the new ones. Um, either way, <laughs> got them easily distracted, aren't I? Hey? Uh, that old fella's got a bit of paint on him. Um, you know, this is a sort of, sort of a little bit of grime and uh, mostly rust, but can't really see the markings on that spanner, can we? Um, when they come out, we'll all be able to see everything, everything brilliantly. Uh, writing will be nice and pronounced. They'll be clean. This rust would have gone. Made in England. Um, stuff like this is seized right now. Uh, so someone left them in a bucket of water, <laughs> not intentionally, but yeah, ho ho. Um, let's throw it all in and see what it see what it does. Okay, right. we've got quite a lot of steel in there, so I'm going to use the whole box of uh, citric acid crystals. Uh, I'm guessing this is a salt, you know. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> uh, um, waste engine oil I'm using to heat this is a bit sharp, isn't it? Um, <coughs> okay, let's just stick the whole thing in. I might throw some more. Uh, some more stuff in there actually if I'm using the whole box. Uh, that's about one pound fifty, yeah? Or with inflation, it's probably gonna go up to a tenner soon. Yeah, some uh, weird old spanners. These aren't that bad to be honest. More pincers, these are seized uh, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Big Whitworth spanners. Not quite in there. Go on. Ah, he's not going to go in. All right. The waiting game begins. It's a. Uh... Gone a bit chilly again, lads. Look, this is uh, this is the next morning now, isn't it? So this has been about 20 hours since I uh, <clears throat> lit up the fire and got these bits in the citric acid. 
Um, I don't know, there's no pretty way of doing this, is there, really? So we'll just uh, empty all this shite out. So that's what we've got, um, a cut and half gas bottle full of shite, yes, <laughs> uh, some of it's actually pretty clean now. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good example isn't it? Uh, you can see where, where this spanner was too big and it poked out, but um, really to get the full benefit of it we've got to give it a quick, quick pressure wash um, and then we'll throw some oil on it quickly and I'll uh, I'll show you what everything looks like. It's just a, uh, a water displacing um, penetrating oil, yeah? Um, so they don't immediately rust again. Um, I bought it by the gallon, it's pretty cheap. Okay, so uh, what have we learned about citric acid, eh? Uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, this hasn't actually worked as well as the last lot I did. Uh, I did a did a few engine components um, for for my Lister diesel, and um, with that because I was still experimenting, I I did it cold, realised it wasn't really working, and then threw it in the um, <sighs> threw it in the hot tub, uh, and it they came up beautifully. Um, this is one of them. Um, you know, I didn't do any brushing or anything to that. Uh, this is a hydraulic coupling. Um, Mm, so that actually got disturbed halfway through essentially uh, and I think that made a bit of a difference which is you know perhaps a sensible thing to do maybe I should have used half the half the packet gave them a few hours in there jet washed them and then put them back in and they all would have come out nice like this yeah but I didn't so what you're seeing here is the results of um you know 20 hours just in one tank with a full packet of citric acid so probably not the most efficient way of doing it um thing is though look at that isn't that beautiful so that's with a you know that was the the spanner before i brushed it and i'm putting no effort into this whatsoever and it's just coming up beautifully uh, so essentially what we're left with isn't isn't corrosion or anything nasty it's just uh it's just dirt that the pressure washer hasn't lifted off. Um, so I think this is a very, very useful process. <laughs> yeah. uh, do I want shiny spanners? No, no, I don't. I don't you know, uh, 
I like I like my I like my snap on Spanners shiny. Um, you know, it's a nice bit of bullshit if you go out on a job with shiny Spanners, isn't it? But um, as far as my uh, my classical Spanners, yeah, my Whitworth Spanners, uh, I'm still still trying to get a nice set together. You know, um, I've, I've not got a full set. I like to have sets of Spanners. It's easier to see if you left something in a fucking engine that way, isn't it? Eh? Uh, but I, I doubt that it'll ever happen and I'm not going to buy a new set of Whitworth just out of principle isn't it if I'm working on old shit that's Whitworth I can use old spanners can't I hey, oh, I love the profile of these things as well look at that <laughs> they're ridiculous aren't they I mean, they're, but they're lovely they fit the nuts and um, you know Whitworth nuts are always a little bit chunkier than, uh, than your metrical AF um, it's nice isn't it? it's nice using a chunky spanner that fills up the whole nut isn't it you've got um, the threads are different as well, they, they always seem to come apart better, I mean, you know, I, I work on a, a Fisher aircraft that are put together with Whitworth stuff, um, you know, and quite a few odd bits of machinery, and it just, uh, they, seem to, they seem to come apart better. I, apparently it's the angle of the threads, yeah, um, I'm rabbiting on about stuff that's got nothing to do with fucking citric acid, am I? Uh, but you still see a lot of brass hardware, uh, electrical stuff, that's actually Whitworth, um, because it works better in brass, isn't it? And, um, you know, I once helped uh, with a restoration job on a on an Invicta steamroller, just a little six tonner in it, and um, that, that was all Whitworth, and not everything was all nice, but... Um, Ended up, you know, nothing to do with me having to put a few metric bolts here and there, isn't it? It just felt absolutely disgusting. And you can tell from half a mile off, isn't it? Because the uh, the heads are like half the half the height of uh, the heads and anything else. Yeah. Anywho's, <laughs> I've got my exhaust pipe uh, clean enough to take a coat of stove paint. Um, that's good. It it seems to pulled out all the uh, all the carbon from inside. So so this is an effective decarburizer can we see in there or can i get you a torch so you can admire the decarburization that's gone on um decarburization that's a, a big deal isn't it see fresh metal in there there we go yeah so um uh yeah word to the wise uh don't get greedy with the amount of stuff in there. Perhaps it's best to uh, do it in two batches. Stop halfway through, change the fluid, give them a little jet wash, and then start again. However, even with being lazy and greedy, uh, we've still got uh, results like that. Um, and you've seen the uh, cross section of materials. I think I don't know if there's any cast iron in here. Uh, that that gate hinge is probably cast iron. Where have you gone, my lovely? Ah, uh, it's disappeared now anyway. Where has that gone? Uh, either way, um, you know, from sheet steel to uh, to forgings and uh, different levels of um, corrosion. Look, it hasn't freed up these these pincers. These ones are bloody lovely though. Hey, they can go straight in my <laughs> straight in my woodworking box, eh? Bloody lovely old pincers they are, aren't they? Um, we've got a missing. Uh, what's name uh, head lever thing on the back there uh, I'll probably cut that off so I don't cut my hand open because um, you know it's a bit dainty in the first place wasn't it that's why it's broken but yeah that's nice and if you wanted these ones cleaned up I think we'll probably have to throw them back in the uh Back in the, the hot tub. Yeah. Um, or use another method. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I, I'm definitely going to use this method again. Um, and as always, if anyone's got any other suggestions, citric acid, I've never never heard of using that. Uh, I like it. And uh, yeah. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye bye.